Hi, I'm Amy. I'm here about the room you have for rent. <laughs> well, finally, someone who looks half decent. <laughs> you have no idea how many trashy people have been through here today. Ooh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Wait, is that the new limited edition Gucci bag? That's like $3,000. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you're gonna have no problem paying the rent, that's for sure. It's $1,800 a month, but that includes utilities. Let me show you around. Yes. Hi, I'm here to see the room that's available. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I don't take Section 8. Oh. I'm not on any government assistance program. Is the room still available? No offense, but the room is almost $2,000. That would be great, actually. I've been having a hard time trying to find a place. Can I see the room? Fine. <clears throat> but you better not steal anything. <laughs> so sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Here's the bedroom. All the furniture's included, closet's a decent size, and you even have your own bathroom, which is really nice. This is great. Oh, it's honestly everything I've been looking for. How do I apply? Right here. Just fill out this application form. And don't worry, most of the info on there is just for formalities. I don't really check it. Great. <laughs> I'm gonna fill this out right now. <laughs> I'd like to apply too. And how do you plan on affording to live here? Do you even have a job? Yes, I'm self-employed actually. Really? Or more like unemployed? <laughs> <clears throat> Look, you can apply. But I'm telling you right now, I run criminal background checks. Nothing gets past me. There you go. Is there anything else you need? Let's see. Income looks good. Rental history looks great. Yeah, this is everything that I need. Normally I would run a credit check and ask for proof of income, but I can already tell that you're more than qualified. Oh, great, thanks. So, how do I move forward? I just need a security deposit and first month's rent. Sweet. <laughs> um, here's my application. This should be interesting. <laughs> you make six figures a year. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm gonna need to see proof of income. Never been late on rent. Highly doubt that. I'm gonna need to verify with your landlord. I'm also gonna need to run credit and background on you. Okay, that's not a problem. I can get you everything that you need. But can I also place a deposit to reserve it? Look, it hasn't been easy for me to find something and I don't wanna lose this. You think I'm gonna take a check from you? Get real. There's probably not even any money in that account. No, there's plenty of funds in there. I, I promise, it'll clear. Well, it wouldn't matter anyways because Amy here has already been approved. And she's about to place a deposit, right? Yes, uh, I would love to, but um, actually, I only brought my checkbook too. Oh, that's perfectly fine, I trust you. <laughs> Just make it out to Natalie Mitchell and the room is all yours. Oh my God, <laughs> thank you so much, that's amazing. <laughs> Wow, you approve her on the spot and take a check from her? But you won't take a check from me? Let's be honest. You all bounce checks all the time. You gotta be crazy if you think I'm gonna fall for that. Is that what this is about? You know, you really shouldn't judge someone before you get to know them. <laughs> And you should really leave here before I call the cops. Because you're definitely not living here.
Here's my check. <laughs> so when can I move in? You can move in right now if you want to. <laughs> I'm so excited to be roommates. Ah, uh, me too. <laughs> Natalie is so happy she found the perfect roommate she was looking for. Or at least she thought. In the beginning, they both get along great and everything seems to be going amazing. But then, a few weeks later, Natalie receives a letter from the bank telling her that Amy's check bounced. She couldn't believe it. When she confronts Amy about it, she finds out that Amy doesn't even have a real job. She can't even afford to pay the first month's rent. After living for free for a while, Amy eventually moves out. It turns out that even the Gucci bag she had on was fake. Natalie couldn't believe how big of a mistake she made. Without any help on rent, Natalie doesn't have enough money to pay for it and ends up getting evicted from her apartment. Before long, Natalie is forced to look for a new room to rent. Um, excuse me. I saw an ad that there's a room for rent. You. <laughs> what are you doing here? I live here. What are you doing here? I thought you already had a roommate. Amy was her name? Oh yeah, well, things didn't exactly work out with her. Let's just say people aren't always what they seem. <laughs> so this is your home. It's really nice. But how can you afford this? I mean, weren't you having trouble, like, affording an apartment? <laughs> affording an apartment was never the issue. The issue was that people were judging me. You see? Like I said on my rental application, I make great income. I'm the owner of an accounting firm and have lots of clients. The problem has never been with me qualifying for an apartment. I've never been behind on rent or made a late payment in my life. The problem is with people judging me because of my looks. They don't want to rent to people like me without even getting to know me. So you see, I wasn't having a hard time because I wasn't qualified. Wow, heavy. I'm really sorry for the way I treated you. You were right. I shouldn't have judged you before I got to know you. Well, I don't know if it's appropriate for me to ask, but are you still looking for a roommate? I really need to find a place. I'm sorry. But I don't think you are a good fit for what I'm looking for. I wish you the best of luck. But Kyra... And you should probably leave before I call the cops. Because you are definitely not living here. <laughs>